everybody, it's Misty. I'm here with CustomScrapbookMaker.com and I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on these great little feather pads. Uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a tutorial on um, a feathered bow that I had made and I used some of these and what I actually did is I took these apart and just used a couple that I put together and I added a little sequined bow to them and made it into a little hair clip. Now I don't buy these feathers individually, I actually get them from um, a website and you can find the link to that website, it's sunshineshopsupply.com and the links to that website is going to be on our blog. But that is where I buy these great little feather pads and they come together like this, all different colors, some come solid colors, some um, they're in uh, the color combos like this, it just depends on what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually take those apart because we had a lot of questions on how we did that without messing up the feathers, which is not an easy thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one here. And usually what I do is if you turn your feather pad over, they actually sit on this little piece of fabric. And you can kind of see the indents right here where this is all glue and it's been hot glued down. So normally what I do, depending on the pad, is I start from right here at the tip and I peel away the fabric and usually when I do this the fabric peels up from the, the hot glue and the hot glue stays on the feather itself. So I'm kind of going to pull this one up and you can see right here this is glue that's stuck on here and actually on this side of the feather pad the glue sticking to the fabric. So I'm just going to kind of work my way around and try to get the feather the um, fabric away from the feather and we'll kind of see what we're left with once we get that done. And it looks like the majority of it is staying stuck to the fabric. It's kind of a half and half right now. So if you can see right here, I've got quite a bit of glue that has this feather stuck to it. So I'm going to try to keep that feather actually on the feather pad and we'll work with that one in a minute. So I'm just going to kind of keep going and pulling at the fabric to get the feather pad off. Now I'm trying to be really careful. I'm holding the feathers pretty tight as I pull away. Um, typically when I do my feathers, I usually use the top portion of the feathers, so I'm not too concerned on how the bottom of them will look. And then I always layer my feathers, so if some of them get a little ruffled on the edge, then I'll be able to overlay something else. Okay, so we got it apart and it looks like um, half of our glue kind of stayed on here along with this feather that's got a lot of glue on it and then half of our glue is over here. So I'm going to take this piece here first and I'm just going to kind of work with the glue that I can and I'm going to start from the bottom and try to peel it off. Um, you can heat this up a little bit if you want. I haven't tried doing it with heat. The only reason I don't do that is because I would hate for the glue to heat up and kind of run a little bit more, I guess. And then I'm just always so good at burning myself with the hot glue that I'm pretty sure I'll just end up burning myself once I heat the glue up. So we're going to take that little feather off. And I'm, you'll see that this feather here at the front is glued on. This is actually the feather in the back. You can see that. But it's kind of glued to this feather here, so I'm trying to work that away. And what I'm doing is I'm holding on to this right here, the, the feather in the front, while I pull the feather in the back away. And I'm just trying to get the little strands off of the glue. And you'll see that some of the glue is still kind of there, and some of the little strands from the other feather are still there. I'm not too worried about that because like I said, usually what I do is I overlap mine so you won't see that. So I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to try to pull this feather off here. Like I said, I just kind of, this is where I'm trying to take the feather off. I'm holding on to the feather that's here in the front and I'm pulling the feather in the back off just so that I don't pull off too much of this back here. So I've gotten most of those feathers off and then usually these are the three at the bottom right here. They usually always stick together. Um, these are going to be a little harder to get apart. You can see that it still has a lot of glue on it. Um, I'm not too worried about that glue. It's just going to be more the glue in the front because they put a good amount of glue right here in that corner. 
um, where they join all of them together. So what I try to do is I just try to kind of get these to come up and so I just kind of bend at them. And so on these feather pads, they're doubled. You can see they're two colors, the hot, the light pink and the black. So it's one feather of each. Um, I had one earlier, but what I try to do is I try to get them to come off together. So you can see right here that it's kind of trying to come apart, but I want this black one to stay with it. So I'm going to try to keep peeling on it and get the black spine of this feather up so that I can pull them off together. If you can't get them off together, if you're doing the double layers with the two different colors, you can always put them back together. Just remember which ones go together. And the only reason I say that is because when they when they curl these feathers, they curl them together so they'll lay better. Um, so let me see if I can get, it looks like I can get this back one off, so I'm going to get that one off first. Get that one, and now let's work on this middle one and see if we can get that one off. And like I said, there's a lot of glue in there, so I'm just kind of picking and peeling at the glue, and then we were able to get it off. Now this one here, <laughs> this one's got a lot of glue on it. Somebody wouldn't happy with that one, um, but it just looks like it's mainly right here at the top and down here that's attached. So what I do is I just try to find a place where it's, you know, it, where I can kind of pry it apart and I'm going to pull this one off and you can kind of see right here on this feather that little gaff that's here. <laughs> that would be still stuck to the actual fabric. <laughs> so um, I'm not using the back of the feathers. So you're not going to see that and you really can't tell from the front that it's actually missing. So it's not too bad. And so what I would do once I'm done with those is I would just try to pick out a couple that look good and then I just kind of layer them together. And even if you get one that looks kind of bad, like this one down here has got a lot of glue and something on it, I would put that back behind your other ones. So now they look like three great little feathers together. And then usually what I do is I don't want them too big so I usually end up putting my bow kind of up here at the top and cutting this bottom part off so you really don't see all this glue and extra stuff anyways. So that one was a little bit of a harder one. This one I already looked at earlier and I can tell that when I pull this one up the actual glue is going to stay on um, the fabric. So I'm going to just pull this one up really quick and see how we come out with this one. And, you know, sometimes it looks easy, and then I get into it, and I'm like, oh, it wasn't as easy as I thought. Um, so when I'm pulling it, I'm holding these bottom feathers first. And then as you get higher up, now that you can see those, see those little white tips right here, those are the tips to the other set of feathers. So as I get there, I'm going to start holding on to those, because that's what's stuck to the feather pad, or the pad. So I'm going to hold on to those as I start pulling and I kind of just work my way across and kind of pull a little at a time going back and forth. And I'm going to keep pulling at it. And I am being a little gentle, but I'm pretty firm with it. Um, I, I think that the more time I take with it and kind of try to be extra careful, the more I seem to mess it up. So if I just pull really quick, they um, come off a little better than they would if I would sit and kind of like try to pick every little strand off. So I'm just going to keep going and like I said, I hold pretty close to where I'm pulling the fabric just so that I'm holding onto the feathers in the area that I'm pulling so that the feathers don't come off. And this one wasn't as easy as I thought. It's pretty stuck on there. It's got a lot of glue. Okay, so there's that. And you can see that there's still a little bit of glue here on this one. But for the most part, they're um, coming off pretty good. So once I get this, I just kind of start with this top layer here. Find the spine of the two that are together, which are these two. And I'm just going to pull them off one set at a time. And I think I'm going to try... Well, maybe not. 
I was going to try to take off that piece of glue, but I don't think it's that important that I need to. So I've gotten that one off, and I'm going to go. And you can see when you look at the back of your feathers, once you get your um, fabric off, how they're laid. So you're going to want to, you know, I wouldn't want to try to pull this one off because it's at the bottom. So I'm working from the ones that are laying on the top first. And this one, I think it's got a lot of glue on it to the front. So this, this one might mess up my feathers just a little bit. I'm going to pull these two here in the middle off together because I think it would be easier. See, these are already, this piece of glue that's right here seeped through pretty bad. So getting these two feathers apart is going to be pretty hard. So with this one, I would suggest like keeping these together and maybe trying to find a nice one that you can add right there in the middle and doing them like that. And I would leave those two together because it it's going to mess up your feather more to try to take these two apart than it would be just to leave them together. So we'll keep working on this one. That one came off pretty easy. And then again, of course, we have the three here. I do the same thing. I'm going to turn these over and kind of work my way through these two, get one off, and then try to work on the other side. And there you go. Take that little piece of glue off. So, and you can see, like, this one got pretty, eh, kind of lost a little bit of its curl there. So, with this one, this feather looks really cute. So, what I would do is I would maybe just lay this one over that, and look, it disappeared. And then I would just take this one and lay it over. And, like I said, it's all about how you lay them together, how are you going to use them. If you were only going to use one feather, I wouldn't use this one, of course. But you can always layer two together, and then you kind of don't see that. So even if you do pull at your feathers just a little bit and get them a little uncurled, they'll be okay. There's always a way you can kind of work them together. So that's a great way to make your feather pads go a little bit longer. Um, you can use them with different things. You can pull the colors apart. Um, or you can keep the colors together and use them for smaller projects instead of just using one whole pad together. So I hope that was helpful for you ladies. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment or email us. Um, and we would love for you to stop by the shop. Thanks for watching. Bye.